All ready for some two stroke diagnostics. The next few videos is us what it's gonna have to be. <laughs> All righty guys, we got a Echo Power Edge 280. It is the curved st shaft edger. And the problem is it, uh, it runs pretty, it runs okay wide open throttle, but once you kick it down to idle, it just smothers out and dies. Let's reach inside and grab our fuel line with the fuel filter on it. We're just gonna let it dangle outside of the tank for the time being. All right, with our tester hooked up or our pressure pump hooked up, I'm gonna pump this carburetor up to about two or three PSI. And then we wait. What this is doing and we got pressure on the fuel side of the carburetor is coming up through the grommet to the carburetor right here what are we testing the integrity of the needle and seat and diaphragms inside this carburetor if this is holding which it is we know that the metering side of the diaphragm and the fuel pump side of the diaphragm of the carburetor are in working order. Next test that we can do, we can actually remove the duckbill check valve and install our tester right here. Since we know that the vent and its line go straight into the gas tank, and when we pump this up, now it's going to take several pumps to fill up this gas tank with pressure, but we're going to do the same test. Pump it to about 5 PSI. And we wait. Now we are testing the integrity of the fuel grommet, the lines going into the grommet, all of the fuel lines go into the carburetor and any cracks in the tank. Uh, if we were to crack this fuel cap loose, you'd hear the air whoosh out.
two things that could be. Exhaust is stopped up and or the piston and cylinder could be scored. But that's the next thing we're gonna check is to see if the exhaust is clogged and let's check the integrity of the piston and cylinder. Couple Allen screws to hold the muffler guard on. There's one there, one right here. Remove the three spark arrester screws. Remove the cover and remove the gasket. And as we can tell, the screen's not clogged. We're good to go on that part of it. Remove the two muffler mounting bolts, nuts. Now I'm gonna zoom in here on this exhaust side of this piston. The ring is not stuck, however, definitely got some wear and all the cross hatch and all of the oil grooves are worn out of this piston skirt so the, the piston ring is not seized now if we move this piston all the way down to expose the intake side I'm going to try to zoom in here and there is the intake side of that cylinder and it is very apparent that we've got some scoring. Wish I could get a better shot. We can look all the way to that transfer port and then we can look all the way across to that transfer port. Let's go ahead and just pull the carburetor off of this thing. I wanna see if the piston scored on the intake side. Once you remove the screws, we're just gonna take the whole carburetor and assembly and we're just gonna let it dangle and kind of hold right here. Go ahead and remove the insert blade insulator block so that we can get a better view. Now you see the all the horizontal grooves in that piston. Those are supposed to be there, and you should be able to see those with the naked eye. When I zoom in, we have a parent scorage and one deep score mark on the corner over here. Is this keeping it from running? No, but it's not gonna cure itself and it's not gonna get better. This piston and cylinder is pretty much done. However, it does run. And at this point, you would just want to tell your customer, hey, look, this thing, it's hurt, it's sick. You can go ahead and give them a quote for either a short block or maybe a new piston and cylinder and, and write you up a, you know, a good estimate. That way he can't come back and say, hey, you didn't do anything to my trimmer, blah, 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 and you charged me to do yada, yada, yada. So at this point, what I would do is I would just get it running and bare bones repair to get it running. And what I would do is I would take my diagnostic and I would run with it. And then I would write it up. I would write on the work order that, uh, you know, it's sick, piston cylinder scored, uh, engine does run, no telling how long it will last. Could last five minutes, could last five more years. But as a professional technician, you don't want this coming back on you. This is bad. If you let this come back, then it's your baby and 
they'll expect you to fix it because you didn't, you know, do your proper diagnostic. But anyway, guys, it is what it is. Uh, if you have any questions about two strokes, let me know. Mower Medic 1. Have a great day.